Today we're going to be looking at this DDR4 memory that's got a bit of a twist and it is actually called the twist. On the front of the box it just says Zadak, it says twist DDR4 at the bottom corner. If you didn't actually know what this was you probably wouldn't know what it was inside the box because you can just about make out the black RAM on the black background with a white stripe through it which I'm presuming goes RGB. The back of the box is multilingual, not much in English, just basically says it's a memory kit, blah, 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 blah. Uh, got QR codes on there, says limited lifetime warranty, got an address, and then it tells you what's actually in the box. Doesn't tell you what the cache rating is, though, on the memory. It does say the megahertz, so at 3,600, or at least this pack is. Inside the box, you've got the plastic casing, and then you've got the two sticks of memory. There's no extras, no paperwork or anything like that, which is a good thing. So let's have a look at the memory itself. As you can see, it's mainly black and it's got a large silver bit here. I thought from the picture on the box that would be like a diffuser for some RGB RAM or something like that, but this is not RGB. It's plain black with silver. It has got a sort of an industrial mechanical look. Not sure why they call it a twist. Maybe because people think it's RGB and it's not. I don't know. That's probably just me. But gives you a rough idea anyway. So it's got their name in the corner. The opposite side again is exactly the same. It's got a model number in the corner on a sticker. You could always peel that off if you wanted. Bear in mind that may affect your warranty if you have any issues. And then on the top there's not much to see to be honest with you. There's no RGB again. Uh, you can actually see a gap between the heat sinks as well where the actual memory is and the actual PCB board. Okay you can just about see the RAM installed inside the machine there. It doesn't really stand out much without the RGB so again if you're wanting something what's going to really stand out especially if you've got a window on the side of your case then may not specifically be the RAM for you unless you do like that sort of style where you just don't like any lighting in there and you just want good looking parts. What we're going to do now is testing this with PC Check UEFI uh, from Eurosoft. This allows us to make sure that the RAM is okay. We do a quick test which takes around about half an hour and if it passes that we then do a full 48 hour test and if you've not used this or seen this software before this is an un industrial scale software basically so a lot of computer repair shops use this places like your system integrators like the ones who actually make your computers use this sort of software to actually test it rather than the free stuff you get online which to be honest with you can be a little bit hit and miss and I wouldn't recommend it if you're doing this professionally but if you're doing professional repairs or building PCs this is the sort of thing you need to look at. So what we do is go onto advanced scripting because we've made scripts up. It'll load up the scripting list. And I've actually gone onto the wrong page. So just bear with me a second, cancel. So I want run testing script. Uh, and then we've got a testing script, as you can see one there set up for mem48, that does 48 hours and we've got mem run all, which is roughly 30 minute test. So we're going to run that and that'll go through and if there's any issues we'll let you know in the conclusion. So in conclusion we've got some no strings attached, non-RGB RAM, which don't get me wrong, looks pretty good even though it doesn't have the RGB because, well, not everyone wants their computer to look like a Christmas tree. It performs well, it passed all our testing, 48 hour stress test without any issues. So if you're able to pick up some at a really good price then I'd recommend you do so. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.